Today I'm going to show you how to create stunning animated history timelines in just minutes using Canva. Go to video. Open new video project. Change the background color to black. Go to elements. Scroll down to shape. Choose the circle shape. Reduce the size. Move to the middle of the page. Change the color to white. Go to text. Add a heading. Enter a time point. Change the font. Reduce the size. Lengthen the text box. Move it above the white dot. Select both elements. Group. Duplicate. Move it. Double click the text box and enter another time point. Repeat the previous steps. Move the lower text to the same height as the upper text. Move it to the right until only the transparent part is left. Repeat the steps. Go to elements. Go to shapes. Choose this line. Lengthen it. Go to border style. Increase the border weight to 10. Move the line so that its left end coincides with the white dot. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to fine tune the position. Select them. Group. Select all the elements. Hold down the shift key and move it up a little. Go to text. Add a heading. Type the title of the historical event. Change the font. Reduce the size. Move to the center of the page. Stretch the text box until it is as wide as the page. Go to text. Add a little bit of body text. Type the content of the historical event. Resize it. Move to the middle of the page. Change the font. Resize and move it again. Select both texts. Group. Add new page. Copy this text group. Paste it to the second page. Double click the upper text box. Type the title of the historical event that occurred at the second time node. Double click the lower text box. Type the specific historical event content. Copy it. Paste it to the first page. Move it to the left until only the transparent part is left.
repeat the previous operation. Click on the second page. Delete this text group. Click on the picture of row. Reduce the size. Move to the top center of the page. Click on the other image of row. Move and resize it. Repeat. Click on the top image. Go to edit image. Go to adjust. Decrease the brightness to minimum. Increase the contrast to maximum. Click on this icon to copy the style so that all images have the same effect. Go to elements. Search for blur line. Go to graphics. Choose this one. Resize it to the same length as the image. Move it to the intersection of the two images. Duplicate. Move it to overlap with the previous one. Repeat. Select all elements. Group. Copy it. Then paste it back on the first page. Increase the size to the same width as the page. Move it up so that the bottom image is visible on the page. Go to position. Go to layer. Drag this image group to the bottom layer. Delete the second page. Duplicate page. Move it to the left until all the text disappears. Click on the second time node group. Hold down the shift key and move it to the middle of the page. Move the text group below to the right until only the transparent part is left. Click the text group of the historical time that occurred at the second time node. Hold down the shift key and move it to the middle of the page. Duplicate page. Move the text group of this time node to the left until only the transparent part is left. Move the text group below to the right until only the transparent part is left. Click the text group of the historical time that occurred at the third time node. Hold down the shift key and move it to the middle of the page. I seem to have forgotten to move this background image. Go back to the second page. Click this image group. Move it down until the second image is displayed on the page. Click the third page. Click this image group. Move it until the third image is displayed on the page. Duplicate page. Repeat the previous operation.
add transition match and move. Increase the duration to maximum. Apply between all pages. Here is the final result. Finally, click share in the upper right corner to download. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about Canva.